Police officer Derek Chauvin found guilty on all three charges against the death of George Floyd. And now Attorney General Merrick Garland and his office are conducting an investigation looking into the entire Minneapolis Police Department, not just the officers involved in Floyd's death. Joining us this morning to talk more about the case is the mayor of San Francisco, London Breed. Uh, mayor, good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning, Mike. There are some verdicts in life where it just seems the nation stops and listen. This was one of them yesterday. Uh, where were you when the verdict was read yesterday afternoon? Well, I was in my office at City Hall and uh, I just took a moment uh, to just pause and reflect. And when the verdict came in, I, I just sat there. I got really emotional and I was a bit in disbelief that uh, the criminal justice system seem to have worked in this case because in so many other people um, where people have died at the hands of law enforcement, uh, it did not happen that way. And I, I just thought about people like Emmett Till and uh, just so many folks, Oscar Grant and others, and, mm -hmm. and just, you know, it, it, it's still very emotional because it just is almost unbelievable that this is finally happening. And this was the right thing, the right decision. And I'm hoping mm. that this is the step in the right direction for this country to make serious reforms with our law enforcement departments, to make sure that people know that no matter whether or not they have a badge anywhere in this country, they are not above the law. And uh, right. um, it's, it's, mm. it's definitely a step in the right direction. You know, I've heard people say when it comes to this verdict, this is a moment in time where the light really shines on uh, racial equity. I've heard the word accountability thrown out there. Uh, also on the historical wrongs of the past that you've touched on. Your reaction, and I, don't, I want you to react here not as mayor, but as the young woman who grew up in the Western edition. Yeah, and, and, and so as a, as a black woman who grew up in poverty, who grew up in public housing, I, I witnessed this brutality. I witnessed people in law enforcement, unfortunately, abuse their power um, I've seen people get beat up by the police. We've had officer involved shootings and other situations that occurred. And, you know, as black people, folks get away with it. And we never expect accountability, sadly, because this is how we've been treated. And, and, and this whole reckoning with race now in this country finally gives me hope that something is going to change. Whereas before, you know, we, we, we would say, well, you know what, nothing's going to happen. Mm -hmm. So we just roll up our sleeves, continue to fight and do our very best. Mm -hmm. Those conversations that you hear that mothers have to have with their black sons, no other mothers have to have those conversations except black mothers with their sons about how they interact with the police. And that has to stop. And that's why in a position like this as mayor, uh, who is in charge of a police department, it is nothing is more important to me than making sure that we make systemic changes in law enforcement so that these kinds of situations don't occur in the first place. Let me follow up on that because the, the whole image of Chauvin's knee on George Floyd's neck. Now, some compare that image to American history on racism. Uh, and with that, we have heard calls to defund police, abolish police. Do you support uh, defunding SFPD, or is this more about, you know, what kind of policing you expect to be produced from Chief Scott moving forward? And have you sat down with the chief about what reforms specifically you would like to see if there was one? Uh, to be clear, even before I was mayor, when I served on the Board of Supervisors, I worked very hard to make serious changes in our law enforcement agencies, especially the police department. In fact, since 2016, we have seen a 57% reduction in the use of force cases mm -hmm. and a 45% reduction in officer-involved shootings. And that has had a lot to do with the push to implement the 272 recommendations by the Obama administration Department of Justice with our police department around use of force and other things that will help avoid some of the situations that occur. As mayor, I diverted $120 million from law enforcement agencies in this city to support the African-American community because we can't just say defund the police and not come up with an alternative to providing resources to a community that has been disproportionately impacted in our criminal justice system, that has been disproportionately impacted in engagements with law enforcement. But would you, so say, my, would you say you're seeing results? 
I will say I'm seeing results based on the numbers that I just outlined, okay. but it's still not enough. There are right. still problems. We still need to work on it, and there still definitely has to be accountability. Okay. Uh, I appreciate your openness uh, with that part of this conversation. I, I need to turn tides a little bit and just ask you, before we let you go, about the coronavirus and the fight in the city against COVID-19. We know the Warriors are playing a home game with fans on Friday night. To me, that's positive. It's a visual that we uh, are making gains here in the Bay Area and in your city. Uh, though, where do we need you guys to really improve more at at this point in the pandemic? What would you say, Mayor? Well, San Francisco is leading the nation in the number of people who have been vaccinated. About 64% of San Franciscans have already received their first vaccine and over 85% of those over the age of 65. This is better than the state and the national average. And so we're in a very, very good place. But to be clear, people are still getting the virus. We still have people in the hospital. It's better than it's been in a very, very long time. And so as long as we continue to see those hospitalizations go down and the infection rate go down, we're less than one at this point, uh, we're going we're gonna to continue to move in that direction. Good. We thought we would be in yellow uh, this week, but we won't be until probably May 1st. So we'll gradually reopen. We'll proceed with caution because the last thing we want to do is go backwards and shut this city down again. And it takes everyone in San yep. Francisco and the Bay Area to do their part. And remember, we're still in a pandemic, but we're going to get through this. I got one quick one for you, then we'll let you go. Look, I've been back in the office here or in the studio for a month. I feel great. To me, it's a big difference. I, I enjoyed the embracing coming back to, to Jack London Square in our studios here at KTVU. If people do not go back to their offices in San Francisco, Mayor, small businesses, and I know you've handed out tens of million dollars in grants and loans as well as that, but, but they're going to take a hit and they're going to have to close if people don't come back to the office. Are you concerned? Are you going to sit here and say, everyone who comes to San Francisco or used to, will you come back now, please? Well, just to be clear, people are going to come back. Okay. But you have to understand not everyone is comfortable just yet. So I think it's going to happen gradually. We didn't think all of a sudden that we're in a good place. We're starting to reopen and everyone is suddenly going to descend on downtown or any other part of San Francisco. When you think about it, in 2019, we had private investments of about 4.6 a billion dollars in our economy. And last year in 2020, we had investments of six billion, private investments of six billion dollars. So people are investing in San Francisco. They're gonna come back. It's gonna take time, our conventions, our games and other things, uh, nightlife and entertainment. But you know what? It's gonna require patience. It's We're still in this pandemic. There are still some concerns. We're gonna gradually reopen our economy and we're gonna come back stronger than ever. I'm confident about that. Stronger than ever, I like that, and I like the word patience too, a very important word there. Mayor London Breed, the mayor of the city of San Francisco, we appreciate your time, Mayor. Have a great rest of the day. Thank you, Mike. You too. Thank you.